Baruch chapter 2 and verse 28. As thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Shalom, brothers and sisters. This is your brother, Hawaiyala. I want to give all glory and praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And we do so in the name of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Grace and mercy be abound to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that are waiting on the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who will deliver his elect from the four corners of the earth and will set up a kingdom that shall last forever, even forever and ever. Going into this uh, particular showcase of just what's going on, on Amazon, I was actually just on there, as you know, um, just browsing uh, different items and um, looking into seeing what was going on with the whole Hebrews to Negroes uh, documentary. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just show you uh, what's going on with this and and uh, to see that this uh, documentary has actually shot up um, to the top of, you know, Amazon's list as far as one of the more sought after documentaries and i'll show you uh the list as we move further ahead uh but as you see here um this is the actual movie that you're not hearing about in media they're not telling you the title of it um i've seen various people um in the mass media in these big big um corporate media entities talk about this said film that's anti-Semitic that was posted by Kyrie, yet they cannot say the name of the film. And I think it really has to do with the title plus information that's in there that shows uh, the validity of us being Israelites. And I think that in and of itself, if m many more people knew what it was called, many more people will watch it, even those um, that may um, be classifying themselves as, you know, Jewish, and then also so-called uh, white Christians would go and start watching it as well. And there could be, you know, I have not watched it yet. Um, the price, you know, I am, I have an Amazon Prime membership. However, the price at uh, $12 and knowing um, at least I already knew some of the doctrine of, you know, Ron Dalton. And, um, you know, I know some of the areas that, that are on point with the scriptures and hip on point historically, but he has some stuff uh, that he believes in that's not on point with the scriptures and it's not on point historically so being that i don't feel the need to watch it however you know for brothers willing to spend twelve dollars or sisters willing to spend twelve dollars to rent it you know feel free to do so um if you want to um and you know you can see exactly what some of the details is in the documentary so i'm going to go ahead and read what it says here as far as the uh, synopsis of the movie says that the movie Hebrews to Negroes, Wake Up Black America, uncovers the true identity of the children of Israel by proving the true ethnicity of Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, and Jacob, the sons of Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Find out what Islam, Judaism, Christianity has covered up for centuries in regards to the true biblical identity of the so-called Negro in this movie packed with tons of research. Now, I don't know exactly his research style, I know, um, you know, for a lot of guys that are from, you know, um, you know, in the Israelite community, I, I know of a lot of guys that are very good researchers, you know, um, that really dig in the crates. And even though, you know, for ourselves, um, we believe in the, in the, you know, in a lot of the, re in the red letter, the epistles in regards to how one should receive salvation, we do understand that there are brothers out there that are high level teachers in this particular aspect in terms of, you know, um, identity, history, and they do a very good job of breaking that stuff down even better than Ron Dalton. There's guys in Israel that are way better on that level. It's just that Ron Dalton set up a platform um, that allowed him to create these documentaries and monetize it because there is an aspect, um, you know, I don't, can't really say too much about his motive, but some of this stuff can be, you know, streamed differently. One, um, we wouldn't even... Brothers and sisters, when you need to buy it, they can give donations. You can create the documentary and still get money monetizing it, um, you know, on a different platform or whatever. However, I do understand 
that there is some money that's involved in doing traveling, research, and all that stuff. And that's stuff that a lot of times can be supplied through a ministry where one would get um, resources from the congregation of the people that are willing to donate and knowing that this particular work can be an advancement of the word of the Lord. And, you know, but at the end of the day, um, the documentary itself is doing the Lord's work from this perspective that is stirring up conversation in the midst of the controversy concerning uh, Mr. Kyrie Irvin, you know, our brother, you know, according to the flesh, you know, who is very zealous and who is actually, you know, coming to the realization of who he is and, um, you know, the state and the condition of our people and not being happy about it. And that's why, you know, we are, you know, we're, you know, we're hoping for the most highs, uh, you know, grace to be used in this situation to help wake up a lot more people, you know, um, you know, that are out there that are watching this thing unfold. Okay. So, um, also key note that if you do rent this, you have 30 days to start watching the video. When you, if you start watching it, you have 48 hours to finish it. If you rent it, if you buy it for $50, you will have it forever. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why Amazon is not able to remove this documentary because you got to think about it for one. Amazon, if you look here, it says, by ordering or viewing, you agree to our terms, sold by Amazon.com Services, LLC. So there's a licensing aspect of this particular thing where um, Ron Dalton is going to be making a percentage of the money off of the sale of this. But because of the platform and the fact that it's an Amazon Prime um, movie slash documentary, then Amazon also has some level of rights and control and they can profit off of the sale and the rental of this particular documentary. Another thing as well is that if somebody had already bought and some, some people that have uh, watched this have actually purchased it, you know, it might have been at a lower price, but they've purchased the um, this, which means that they have what's called lifetime access to this movie. So now if they were to remove this, they would no longer have access and therefore Amazon would have to go back and refund everybody um, that owned this movie. This is one of the reasons why um, they're trying to get everything to the a digital online platform where it's on a cloud and you can only access it if you're allowed to. They're trying to get rid of, you know, the ability to take and carry things physically. They're going to they want to phase out a lot of these things. This stuff is happening with video games where a lot of these video game systems are selling games digitally to be added to your your um, your hard drive on your video game system and trying to eliminate the need to have a physical copy of the actual game, just like they're doing with this. So. You know, that's a mechanism of control. And we'll see what happens with this. You know, I mean, the more and more it stays at number one, the more and more people that are going to watch it, the more and more this controversy keeps going on with the Kanye thing, which is actually kind of Kanye West is kind of becoming some somewhat of an afterthought in the media because of the other situation with the Kyrie Irving, um, you know, posting a link to this movie that's being sold by Amazon. It says it right there. So when you think about that, you know, that is going to be a great thing and a topic of discussion for many people um, to uh, continue to build off of as we go, um, you know, into these final days. OK, because, you know, this thing is not um, by accident. OK, and um, I'm seeing the comments, you know, I'm peeping the social media comments on Instagram and it is causing a lot of um, people to really question what's really going on. OK, and they're starting to see that it's being it's illegal to call yourself an Israelite or a Hebrew or a Jew. OK, and they're starting to see that what this is thing is really about, even though the media ha doesn't want to say it outright, is becoming obvious that the back to back incidents uh, between the two and then people remembering what happened with um, Nick Cannon. Same thing. Right. And a lot of uh, these celebrities have bowed down. They've bowed, bowed the knee um, when they were confronted with it. All, almost pretty much all of them. I don't think I don't think many of them that were confronted with this in the uh, because of that. Like you've had um, a rapper out in the UK, I believe he said something. I don't know if he identifies everybody. I think he said something about the small hat people. And then you had the situation with Deshaun Jackson. He said he, he proclaimed his Israelite heritage. He had to apologize. Um, you've seen even a Smarty Stoudemire. He ended up going and converting himself to them. You know 
their particular, you know, Talmudic religion and wearing, wearing yarmulkes and stuff and going and living in uh, Tel Aviv, you know. So you've seen like how they've actually have gotten people to bow down, okay, buck broken them, uh, you know, down to basically submitting to their ways, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, you know, briefly what this is. You see it's the number one um, bestseller for black and African-American biogra biographies. And this is the actual book. Okay. The actual book went number one. Okay. And I'm going to show you who's on this list. Look who this, the book surpassed. Okay. Um, Michelle Obama, Barack Obama, Viola Davis. I mean, uh, I mean, these are people that are in, that are pushed heavily, uh, by the powers that be. And look who's on there. I mean, you got Trevor Noah, you got Jamil Hill, Right. So with Malcolm X, as you see here, you know, he's being uh, on here as far as being promoted because it's just telling you the, the, the nature in which a lot of our people are thinking, which is separation and getting uh, understanding that, you know, this society on both the left and the right does not really like you. And that's why this is really this high. OK, because you got people that are fed up with this society and they're listening to, you know, Malcolm X, you know, and again, Malcolm X is not fall in line with you know, the gospel of Yahweh Shai. However, before he did die, he did, uh, he did um, say uh, that we were the lost sheep. Okay. And, um, you know, he might have been angling. He might have probably, if he stayed alive, it's possible he would have angled towards being an Israelite. And, um, you know, so, I mean, we, we don't know. The Most High was the one who's the author of life and death. At the end of the day, he ended up getting assassinated. But um, as you see, man, I mean, these are mainly big time celebrities. And someone who is not a celebrity was able to catapult to number one due to this controversy. Now, here is um, the best sellers for faith and spirituality. Uh, they don't have Hebrews to Negroes on here, even though it falls in this category. And I, I believe they took it out or made sure it didn't show up on there because they don't want this to be associated with the faith and spirituality. Um, and remember, um, when you go into these uh, different items that are on Amazon, they got to be careful of what they're putting out too, because you got a lot of the faith and spirituality just due to the nature of the population of, um, you know, um, America, there's going to be primarily so-called white people that are going to, of course, make the bulk and majority of the Christians. And they're going to be in faith and spirituality section. They're going to be looking up stuff. And they, the last thing they want to have is seeing this, you know, random title. This is look at the title. The title is very uh, not for them. Right. Um, as far as in the way it's it's written, right? So they have to probably remove it out. That's more than likely what happened. All right. So now when you go into the bestsellers and documentary, okay, number one, Hebrews to Negro. So this is the documentary itself, and it's surpassing all these major um, documentaries that are made by, you know, big companies. Okay. This is a National Geographic do documentary right here, Free Solo. This is a History Channel documentary. OK, I mean, then you got the Jackass Forever, OK, by Johnny Knoxville, which I saw being promoted um, for some reason. I was like, why, why am I seeing, you know, video of him randomly on YouTube or on social media? And that's because of the uh, documentary. OK, so the documentary is the reason why. And then you have these other ones. So it just shows you. Like how big uh, the news of this is. It's really that big that this stuff is happening and going on. And um, I think it's going to make conversations with brothers and sisters that are not, um, you know, in this um, easier because we can, you know, you can use the Kyrie Irving situation and the Kanye West situation to really spark up uh, uh, some good conversations. We did so in uh, Virginia with a few people um, where we talked about that and it was a very easy, like, ground to go to because people already knew about it it's a comfortable so uh, you know it's a fairly comfortable subject to talk about and to say what it is that you agreed or disagreed with right so i'm going to go ahead and finish this off and uh this is going to be you know deuteronomy 30 and 1 restored restoration promise it says and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before thee, 
and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I commanded thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will have turn thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost part of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it. And he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart and will the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and upon on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Okay, so right now, you know, we're in the phase Okay, of calling to mind the blessing and the curse. All right, and when you see documentary, you're going to go into the blessing and the curse. Okay, because you have to go into both. All right, because the ethnicity, okay, the true ethnicity of Abraham, all right, to Isaac and to Jacob led to the 12 tribes of Israel, in which was based on what blessings that was promised to them and to their seed after them. And also the curses, which is really the biggest identifier that is happening with our people is that calling to mind the curses that we go through as a people. Okay. And then when you go back over here in Amazon, you see the image of the slave ship on the documentary with the hand with a chain. Okay. Symbolizing the slavery, the captivity. Okay. And a lot of these, um, People at the higher up and a lot of these people that are against us, uh, they hate the fact that something that was bad for us, that happened to us as a people, is actually turning out to be something that the Most High is using uh, to basically wake us up as a people. All right. So hopefully, you know, this is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. And again, I want to give all glory and praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, grace and mercy be abound to the whole full elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom.